Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have some buckets that are broken down, and I think we have a bad hydraulic hose, and I have no idea where my mechanic is. Uh, maybe he's down at the bar having a beer or something, uh, but I guess he's decided he's done working for the day, even though me and the hog pan guys are still working our butts off. <laughs> so I don't, I'm not sure where, where he's at. Um, so anyway, I don't see him anywhere around here. And when I say see him, I mean, you can see his little icon on whatever he's working on. Uh, so, yeah, we've got our first uh, bucket breakdowns here on our conveyor belt. And it appears to me if we get the part analyzer out, there's only there's this bucket here, which is the one that's actually um, hosed. Yeah, equals 1%. Uh, and then there's one here that is 12%. And then there's a cup. One, is there one or two that we can also, yeah, we can expect this inspect rather this one, which is only 2% and this one here. So apparently there's four buckets that we have to replace on the whole thing. And I guess that's simulating replacing all four of them or something. I'm not really sure. I noticed that on the shaker too, that there's, even though there's a total of eight straight, uh, springs on it, there's actually only two springs that, that we actually replace. Uh, so I guess that's just kind of a quirkiness of the game or to keep things from getting too complicated or whatever. Um, so let's go into here. And uh, the other thing we might consider doing is doing a sale. Um, the price is at 2013 right now. It's you know, It looks like it's dipping back down a little bit. It was pretty high uh, around noon and 1 o'clock today. Uh, but then it dipped back down. So uh, we might do a sale. Uh, you can see I have uh, 347.957 ounces of gold. And if we sell that now, we might just have enough to, to buy old Arnold because that's my, you know, that's what I'm, I want to do before I do anything else is buy this parcel. So we quit losing all that gold to old Arnold himself. Um, I thought about hire or not hiring, but um, well, yeah, I guess hiring the other hog pen container worker but the problem is is i don't have another dude to swap out the mats um and i have confirmed that well i guess it's six one half does the other but basically um putting those guys on the hog pen makes the hog pen generate more gold more quickly um and so if you don't have someone else to then swap out the mats then you have to stop what you're doing and come over and swap them out um which I could do, but it's just another thing that's interrupting me. Um, the advantage of doing that is that we'd start leveling him up. The disadvantage is, again, it, it's just yet another thing that stops me from moving dirt to go change out some hog pan mats. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, uh, the other two guys are mechanics, and I'm not going to hire them right now because, <clears throat> uh, I mean, we could, but they're just kind of expensive is all. Oh, we were going to go look at parts. So it is more expensive if we buy parts here, but we otherwise we have to run all the way into town. But if we're going to run into town and do a sale, then it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, what we need, though, and we also need some buttons, too. We've got uh, some buttons that have gone bad on our generators. So let's find what we're looking for here. Rommel roller, chains, jigs, engines, conveyor belt buckets. Um, so those are 356 bucks a pop. Hey, you know what? That's not that much money. However, again, if we're going into town, we might as well go into town and buy them because it is going to be cheaper. Where are the buttons at? Big power button, big power generator button. Yeah, we got to buy a, f a couple of those. Really? 118 bucks for something like that? That's a racket, man. Um, so yeah, why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and go on into town. I want to look at and we'll do a sale. I want to look at my magnetite too. It's getting really close. Oh, and this is as far as we've dug. I'm getting close to getting all the way to the back part of uh, this area here. And I do know in general, I do know from when we dug up above that this back area here is, is richer in gold than these areas up here. So uh, we should start to see a little bit better gold from that area. All right, so, yeah, we're going to look at the magnetite bucket, and then we're going to head into town. We're going to do a sale, a sell, sale, sale. Yeah, we're going to sell or do a sale. Yeah, it's at, it's at 89%. Um, yeah, let's just leave that as is for now. 
since it's not quite all the way up. Of course, we could we could get another upgrade from the blacksmith, even with that much, probably. Maybe we'll, yeah, let's just take it. Let's just take it with us. And we'll drop it off at the factory on the way into town. Okay, we currently have uh, 903 magnetite. Now we have 5775 from that little dump there. That should be able to get us another upgrade. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, so upgrades. This one is, how much does that one cost? That one costs 13,000 magnetite. Okay, um, we've already done, oh, wait, have we done that one? No, we haven't. Okay, so this is the one that allows us to do larger bars. Uh, and this one costs less. We would have waited a little bit longer. We probably could have done both of these, but I'm thinking probably this one. Um, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. And then if we get out and back in, we now have 2247. Yeah, we're just a little shy of being able to do this cost upgrade. Um, have we done... Uh, yeah, we've done this one already. Yeah, because it's okay. Uh, we didn't do the time upgrade. S smelting time reduced. So, nah, let's let's hold off on those. This is the least most important to me. Um, doing this cost upgrade would, is probably going to be the next thing because the rest of these are going to be quite expensive. That one being the most <clears throat> expensive probably uh, to do. So, okay. Um, so we got that done. Now, uh, how large a bars, bars can we make now? Wow, look at that, 180 ounces before we could only do an 80-ounce bar. That was a huge improvement, actually. A huge improvement. Wow, nice. Okay, uh, so we only lose 6 ounces of gold out of 180, which is really, really good. And it's going to cost us almost 9000 to smelt this one bar. Uh, okay, let's get it done. I'll meet you guys over at the bank when the smelting is finished. And we'll do a sale and see if we can get to that $600,000 mark and buy old Arnold. Okay, guys, we are at the bank. Uh, I have two huge bars of gold here. I got a 162.3 and a 174. S-Rocks sluice box available with a 20% discount. Uh, 174, so yeah. Uh, let's check the price again. So it looks like it's staying at 23.13. Um, I'm just wondering if... 23... We should... Yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's, uh, let's just sell it. Let's sell it. Okay. So that's going to get us a nice chunk of change. It gets us to 57 or 573,870. So we're not quite there. Okay. Well, it is 7 p.m. So we still have plenty of day uh, time left in this day. So I think I'm going to go back and keep hammering away at it. And then we will um, see if we can get this bot before the end of the day. Oh, we do. We got to go uh, to the parts shop too. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, so we're just going to buy four conveyor buckets. Uh, I'm going to replace them all because the other ones are getting close anyways. I uh, just have to figure out where they are. Conveyor buckets right here. We're just going to get the cheapies. I've been running that thing for a long time, and this is the first time I've had to buy new ones. So they seem to last pretty good. And then, let's see, we also needed those buttons too. Where are we going to find those things at? Uh... It's kind of funny because the buttons on all of the generator switches seem to be wearing down, even though I only use the main switch and then the three ones that run the washing equipment. But it seems to want to wear them all down at the same time. So, 
Where in tarnation are those things? You'd think they'd be maybe over here on this shelf or on this. Sh oh, there they are. They're down below. Okay, so let's see. We're going to need, I mean, I'm just going to replace them all. Just trying to think. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. We have something like 12. Can't believe how expensive these are. This is ridiculous, man. It's a racket. Uh, I'm, I think we have 12, but I'm going to get 14 just in case. Okay, so that gets the conveyor buckets and the buttons that we need. I still have three or four uh, fresh hydraulic hoses. I gotta, I gotta change one of those out too. So I think we're in good shape on that. And yeah, let's uh, check out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera here, guys. I'm gonna go back to the ranch and keep digging dirt until we can get to 600,000. Actually, we're gonna need to be, we're gonna want a little more than that. So we still have some capital to work with and uh, see if we can get old Arnold bought out before midnight. So I'll bring you guys back with an update. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, I have something I got to tell you. <laughs> so after I left you in the last episode, or I'm sorry, not the last episode, the last clip in this episode, um, I did another clean out, and then I had I just had a, just barely over six hundred thousand, so I went into town. I bought old Arnold parcel, came back home slept and when i woke up in the morning i was bankrupt <laughs> because the amount of gold uh, slash money that i owed old arnold for the day i didn't have enough apparently in assets to cover that i did not know that was going to happen what i thought would happen was that i would just go into the negative you know like we did the last time but i think i was so far in you know, in, in the hole there with, with what I owed him that the game said, you're, you're done. And, and that was it. I mean, I was done. I couldn't, I mean, it, I couldn't even exit out of that screen. It was just, that's it. I had to force close the game, which was really weird. So what I ended up doing is I ended up reloading a, a, a previous save and and then uh, I mined overnight and just went ahead and paid old Arnold, um, you know, what he what he took. Because, you know, at that point, I don't remember how much I had at midnight, but he took, I don't know, uh, 90000 90, close to $100,000 from me at that point. I didn't have any actual gold on me. I'd cashed it all out and put me back here at about... Uh, around 500,000. I can't remember to be honest with you. Um, so I just kept on mining and now I, it's almost, as you can see, it's now, um, uh, almost two o'clock in the morning, um, on the next day. And I have $507,000 and 89.051 ounces of gold. So, um, we're going to go back into town now and we're going to cash this in. Because what's going to happen now is we're going to be able to buy the parcel. And, oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. We'll be able to buy the parcel. And I'm only going to owe him uh, for 89 ounces worth of gold. Um, and then all the rest of the gold that we make in this day is will be ours, free and clear. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but uh, that's, that's just kind of how things went down. Like I said, I had no idea... A, that I owed him that much money, and B, that it would end the game for me. And I didn't want to end the game because, you know, I, I'm not finished playing this game. I'm not put, finished with this series, uh, both on YouTube, uh, you know, for you guys and for myself, you know, playing. I'm, there's more that I want to do, and I don't want to start over again at this point because, oh, my goodness, this is a grindy game. <laughs> uh, I can't even tell you how many hours I've already put into it. So... Anyway, uh, that's what happened, and uh, so that's the deal. But I think, uh, especially if the prices are good, I can't check the prices because uh, we're having non-stop thunderstorms. It's very frustrating, so my tablet's completely useless to me. Um, so we're going to go you know, into town and check the prices. Well, we're going to smelt the gold anyways because we need to, and then we'll check the prices, and hopefully they'll be good 
and then you know we'll be able to make enough money to to buy this parcel and then here again the only money that i should owe him is just you know 30 percent of 89 we'll, we'll say about 30 ounces of gold when you know he collects the next morning for just the the part of early this morning that we you know we're still leasing from him i know that's that seems really complicated but hopefully, hopefully that makes sense uh, to you guys and uh, we can just go from here so all right that being said let's go ahead and go cash this in uh, i'm sorry go smelt first and then we'll cash in and we'll see where we're at so i'll meet you guys back at the bank once we have our bar all right guys we are at the bank let's go ahead and see what the prices are Ooh, wow look at that that's uh is that as high as it's been since we started playing I think so. Um, season one. No, it was just a little bit higher here, uh, I guess. Yeah, because that's all. Well, wait, that's season zero, season one. I don't even know what season zero means. Maybe that's, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's it, nevertheless, it's very high. So this is a really good time to sell. So let's go ahead and sell our gold bar. And that gets us $607,986. Now, we are going to buy Old Arnold. So let's uh, buy it right now. Boom. And we own this. Look at this. It is owned. Beautiful. So every last ounce of gold that we pull off that property from moving forward is ours, free and clear. Okay, except for what we have to pay the blacksmith, of course, to, to process it. So... Um, now the thing is, is, you know, I only have $7,986, which should be enough, you know, for us to cover breakdowns. But if it isn't, I've got lots of magnetite. Um, I got, you know, 22, four, seven ounces of magnetite and, um, is there a magnetite in here too? No. Uh, and I should have, I don't know, another 15, 20, 25% or so back, uh, at the claim too, that I could also cash in so if we get into a situation where you know i go into the red a little bit then that's you know that's our ace in the hole kind of like it was last time they got us out of the hole excuse me so yeah i think we're doing pretty good but the the cool thing is we got the rest of this day it's only 10 you know 2 10 a.m in the morning we got the whole rest of this day to make a crap ton of gold and all of that gold's going to be ours except for just the little bit you know that old arnold uh, will take uh, and I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere around 30 grams to when tomorrow rolls around. And then after that, we're done with him because we own the place now. So that that's going to be great. All right, you guys. Well, uh, we still have quite a bit of time left in this episode. But I think I'm going to cut the camera here, go back, and just get back to digging. And I'll bring you guys back with an update at some point on where we're at. And uh, we'll go from there. So see you in a bit. Welcome back, guys. Um, so, yes, we are ready to do our very first uh, clean out that is all ours i've already uh cleaned out um the mats um in the nuggetator and so we have the buckets here uh, this is i think this is the nuggetator mat this is the shaker sluice box mat and the rest of these are uh the the duplex jigs uh so what i've been doing here let's take a look at our gold map i have been trying to remember what squares what now okay so yeah these um these squares here were actually pretty pretty good and, and you can see that as we go further back they're they're halfway decent too um and these are like really good squares so we're gonna keep digging this direction um <coughs> to the south uh to get to these squares maybe not so much these but these here and then, you know, then we're going to cut in uh, through here. This this dirt is kind of not all that great, really, but we've already dug that part out anyway. So we're going to cut in here and then start going, you know, this way and get into some really good gold ground uh, through here. Um, so that's the plan. But we still have a couple of, you know, pretty decent squares uh, to the south of this area. So what I've done is I've uh, used the excavator for the higher part. Because my understanding is that, you know, if you have gold uh, that's higher up in a particular square, like um, let's say this one here, 
uh, you want to dig it uh, down because if you dig everything at the base, uh, if I come over here and I dig everything at the base, it takes everything all the way up to the top. And my assumption is when you do that, you lose, uh, you know, the gold that's up in the middle or the top. Uh, I think that's correct anyways. I could be wrong about that. If you guys know for a fact that that's not the way it works, then I'm all ears on how it's supposed to work. But until I find out otherwise, I'm going to assume that's the way that it works. Um, so anyway, I've been in the excavator up top, and what I've been doing is just parking the dump truck down below and then dumping the dirt um, into the dump truck from up top. And it seems to work pretty good. I've been playing around with some different controls uh, on my mouse and my mouse thumb buttons and my keyboard and so, uh, so forth for the excavator too, to, to try and make it a little easier. Because if you use the default mouse movements, it's a lot of, you know, wrist and arm and hand movement and not so much finger movement. And, you know, you do that for two, three hours, at least when I do it for that long, I start having carpal tunnel problems and that sort of thing. Um, so if I can't come up with a really good, smooth way of doing it with a mouse and keyboard, I might try it with a controller. One of you guys suggested that in the comments, and it's a good suggestion. I'm just generally not much of a controller guy, but I do have an Xbox controller, and I could try that out uh, if I can't figure it out the other way. Anyway, so, yeah, so we cut the top of that off, and now, you know, we're using the, the front loader to, to get the lower part of this. But our plan is to, like I said, um, cut down into here to get to these you know, good spots. And then we're going to start cutting down, you know, to, so we can get to the really good stuff that's kind of over in this area. Uh, whether or not I completely finish all this out, uh, I don't know. We'll see. It's just that um, I don't know if it's going to be worth our time to, to do that. I mean, it's not terrible, I guess. It's, what is it? It's, um, it's the middle color here right for most of these so i might i might go ahead and just finish cleaning that out plus it'll give us a little more room for maneuvering when we come back down in through here too so that's the plan currently where we're at it is also a 323 in the morning so i expect to make a huge amount of gold today and thank the lord it's all mine <laughs> i don't have to give old arno any of it except for you know just that little bit um very very early in the morning that we when we were still leasing. Okay, so that being said, uh, let's see what we get with this particular clean out. I'm hoping for, you know, remember, we're still on tier three. We, uh, we haven't upgraded anything. And I'm going to, I'll talk to you about that right at the end of this episode about what the next step is for our plans. But uh, I'm hoping that we can pull about 50 ounces from, you know, from this clean out. So let's just see uh, what we get. So we'll get started here. Dump that in there and let's see what. Uh, the gold will give us, or the land will give us. Okay, so we ended up with 54.7 ounces of gold. I started with 3.2. Uh, the reason I started with 3.2, by the way, is, for, is I forgot one of the cleanouts up there the last time around. Um, so, yeah, we, we got roughly 51.5 ounces of gold out of that clean out from hitting that little bit better spot over there. So that's not too bad, you know, considering this is still just a tier three operation uh, with only a couple of workers on it. So I can't complain about that. So, all right, let's go take a look at the prices because if the prices are still high, I think I'm going to go sell this now just so I have, you know, a little bit more money in our pocket because we're pretty low on our cash at the moment. So we'll go up here, we'll shut this stuff off, and go look at the prices. Now, if they've dipped back down, I might go ahead and just keep um, moving dirt for now. But we'll see how that goes. One of you guys were telling me in the comments, too, that the electric version of this pump is buggy. It breaks a lot more than it's supposed to. And recommended that I just stick with the diesel one. So that's what we are going to do. I think I've had... I've had this pipe break once on here, and maybe, is there even an engine on here at all? I don't know. I think that's all that's actually broken on, is just that one pipe, and all the time I've been running it, so. Oh, of course the thunderstorm starts now. Oh, I hate that. Of course, it is a time of year, right? Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, well, I am thinking that I would like, uh, like some money in our pocket, so we're going to go into town and... And smelt this anyways, unless, like I said, the prices have really tanked since last night. 
Um, they probably haven't, or I even should say since early this morning. Um, start the engine. Got a whole bunch of broken buttons in the back of my pickup truck. I'm glad I, I bought extras of those because they seem to be breaking left and right. And if you're curious, I'll show you our junk pile at the moment. Actually, I don't want the truck that close to it. And we'll put these um, broken buttons in there. These hydraulic hoses are good. I just have them in there because that's the thing that breaks more than anything else are the hydraulic hoses. So I just carry some extra ones in the pickup truck. Put that over there. We'll grab this one. Got that one there. And I think that's it. I don't see any more. Okay. So yeah, this is, <laughs> this is all the stuff that's broken down on me in the last, I don't know, day, day and a half or so. So we got rollers, we got duplex jig pumps, we got conveyor belt buckets, we got a piston, a ton of buttons, and uh, I don't know, do I have anything in here? Whoop, get over here. Yeah, a couple hydraulic hoses in there. All right, let's just get rid of all this stuff. We'll get a couple thousand bucks from it. Just make it sure... Yeah, okay. There we go. All right, so I will meet you guys in town, and we will get this gold sold and get some money in our pocket, and it's all our money. All right, let's sell this sucker. There we go, $64,000. That's a nice little chunk of change to have in our pocket. Uh, so we're up to $71,910. Uh, dollars and that's plenty of money to keep uh, keep operating doing repairs getting fuel that sort of thing okay so let's talk about what's coming up next uh, in this series so we got to turn around and go this way um I don't know as far as our next parcel I might skip the river place what's it called Parcels. Rivertown. Um, and the reason for that is because I've been watching some other videos, and this place is a pain in the butt to get into. So we might go straight to Pine Valley, which means then that we're going to have to amass $1.8 million because I am not leasing this place, especially if they're going to take 40% of our take. Not going to do it. Um, so, yeah, so I think as of right now, my, my, what's in my head in terms of our next parcel is going to be Pine Valley, but it's going to be a bit yet before we're ready to do that because we still have quite a bit of gold on old Arnold and we just bought it, bought that of course. So we want to milk that thing for all it's worth. So let's talk about upgrades next, uh, for equipment. Uh, what I'm, what I think I'm going to do, what's in my mind to do at this point anyways, is to upgrade old Arnold's to at least tier four. Now, I don't know if we'll take it to tier five. I don't know if there's enough gold there for us to afford to do that and also buy Pine Creek. There might be, but if there isn't, then what I want to do is I want to get the uh, the D-Rocker um, first. Okay, so we're, we're looking at $445,000 for that sucker. Then we're going to get the old Arnold's Trommel. This is all tier four equipment too, for those of you who didn't know that. And this one's going to be 239. Okay. So now we're up to, to 600,000 and change. And then we're going to want to get the planter because I think this is tier five gravel pump. So the planter. So, so now we're up to eight, but you know, eight five, and there was some other. So we we need approximately just roughly a million dollars to get these three pieces of tier four equipment. Um, and so that's the next thing I'm going to be shooting for. 
I don't know if I'm going to buy this large fuel tank. We've actually done quite well on fuel so far. Um, and a, a big reason for that is because I'm playing on, you know, 1x time for for most of the time. And when you do that, you you know, you, you use less fuel. So that's the plan, guys. That's the plan. So I'm going to be digging like crazy and and earning enough money and i may not bring you guys back until i have enough money to buy the d rocker and then once we buy the d rocker we bring this in um and set it up and then you know go from there so at unless you know unless i have a a, a compelling reason to bring you back before then i'm just going to dig and then i'm going to dig and then when i'm finished doing that i'm going to dig <laughs> <laughs> and get our, our our bank back up to you know about 500 grand at least and then we'll then I'll bring you back we'll start the next episode we'll buy the D rocker we'll put it in place and then try it out and we'll keep continue to work towards the old Arnold Strommel and the planter for our tier 4 uh, setup and of course we have to continue hiring workers too now you know the downside to playing on 1x is that you know new workers become available very very few and far between so you know there's that too now i've also considered possibly buying a second dump truck so that i can fill two dump trucks up at the same time and then get you know get two loads at a time instead of one load at a time that's something i might do also and so here again we got another hundred grand uh, that we'd have to sink into that so i'm thinking about that we'll see how things go though uh, but anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I, I'm uh, very happy, you know, that we now own old Arnold and that all of the gold that we get out of that place moving forward is ours. And we still have some, you know, some pretty decent gold plots left on that place, too. Uh, you know, we, we have definitely, we haven't even mined out half of the good stuff that's there. May, we've maybe mined out a quarter of it, I would think, at this point. So I'm hoping that, you know, we can pull... A good chunk of change out of there. We really need to pull out um, about three million out of that place to do everything that I'm planning on doing, and that would in that includes buying Pine Creek outright. Whether or not we'll get three million out of what's left there, I don't know. I, I may, maybe we won't. If we don't, we don't. Then we figure out, you know, Plan B. But uh, if we can, that'll be fantastic. So, anyway, that's it, guys, for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.